Hello everyone, welcome to Study Studio. Today we will learn power sharing. First, we will take an example of Belgium. Belgium is a small country located in Western Europe. Has borders with France, Netherlands, Germany and Luxembourg. Its area is equal to Haryana and Indian state. Its popular population is little over 1 crore. Then, eight. so do you know do you know what is an ethnic group if no don't know then I'll teach and I'll explain you what's it. So what is an ethnic group? It is an a group of of people whose members identify each other common heritage through common language and through a common culture, including common religion, a tradition of common ancestry. Okay. So, in Belgium, 59% people live in Flemish region and speak Dutch. Okay, I have three regions. Uh, no. Look, there are three regions. In Belgium, Flemish. Flemish. Next is... Brussels or third hai the Wallonia region Wallonia region okay yeah so now let's get started Wallonia so another 40% people live in Wallonia region and speak French ये गोख लो याद ही कर लो मतलब पक्का ही रखना है 59% फ्लेमिश में रहते हैं और डच बोलते हैं 40% वेलोनिया में रहते हैं पर बोलते हैं फ्रेंच और ब्रुसेल्स में आ नहीं नहीं रिमेनिंग है 1% जर्मन इन द कैपिटल सिटी ब्रुसेल्स और बाय बेल्जियम की कैपिटल सिटी क्या है कैपिटल ब्रुसेल्स 80% speak French while 20% are Dutch speaking. उधर उल्टा था, वहाँ Dutch speaking ज़्यादा थे, कितने थे 59 इसलिए, okay? तो वो ही problem थी कि minority French speaking community was relatively rich and powerful, as it was living, it was in majority in the capital city prisons. There, this was represented by Dutch speaking community who got benefit of economic development and education later. Okay. This led to tensions between Dutch and French speaking people during 1950s and 1960s. Sri Lanka Power it is an island nation on the southern coast of Tamil Nadu. Population is about 2 crore. Like other nations in South Asia region, Sri Lanka has a diverse population. Ethnic composition of Sri Lanka. So, this is Tamil speakers come out 18%. Or Sinhala. Sinhala speakers 74%. Okay. Tamil natives of the country are called Sri Lankan Tamils, which are 13%. And Indian Tamils, whose forefathers came from India as plantation workers during colonial period. Okay. Ye hai Indian Tamils. Okay. Abrielgen or ethnicity. 
इसमें रिलीजन है बुद्धिज्म हिंदुज्म और क्रिश्चियनिटी जो है सेवन परसेंट बुद्धिस्ट मतलब सिन्हाला स्पीकिंग हिंदू मुस्लिम तमिल स्पीकिंग तमिल स्लैश शिला सिन्हाला क्रिश्चियनिटी को मतलब सिन्हाला बुद्धिस्ट फॉस्टर बुद्धिज्म फॉस्टर करते थे ओके सिन्हालिस नाउ मेजोरिटेरियनिज्म इन श्रीलंका ये कब इमर्ज हुआ कहाँ से आया क्यों है वो सब अब समझेंगे हम ओके इट इमर्ज एज एन इंडिपेंडेंट कंट्री इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट क्या इमर्ज हुआ श्रीलंका ओके बट सिंस सिन्हाला स्पीकिंग कम्युनिटी वर इन मेजोरिटी दे ऑल्सो टू गवर्नमेंट एज लीडर्स बिकेम गवर्नमेंट राइट इन फैक्ट द डेमोक्रेटिकली इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट एडोप्टेड a series of majoritarian measures to establish sinhala supremacy okay ab majoritarianism kya hai aap soch rahe honge main samjhati hu na no mai it is a belief that the majority community should be able to rule a country in whichever way it wants by disregarding the wishes and minor needs of minority okay to ab wohi hua sri lanka sri lankan tamils ke sath aur hum indian tamils 1956 mein ek act pass hua jisme sinhala ko ek official language banaya gaya aur tamil ko nahi the government followed policies that favored sinhala applicants for university and government jobs ये दूसरा पॉइंट ये भी डाल अ न्यू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्टिपुलेटेड दैट द स्टेट शेल प्रोटेक्ट एंड फॉस्टर बुद्धिज्म हिंदुज्म क्रिश्चन कुछ ही नहीं अब बुद्धिज्म ही आ गया ओके और इधर स्टेट प्रीफर्स टू अ कंट्री है ओके ऑल दिस All this government measure increased the feeling of alienation among the Sri Lankan Tamils. Reaction of Sri Lankan Tamils. They felt that none of the major political parties led by Sinhala leaders were sensitive to their language and culture. They they felt that the constitution government policies denied them political rights and discriminated against them in getting jobs also. This distrust between two communities turned into a widespread conflict. It soon turned into a civil war. But the civil war caused a terrible setback to the cultural, social and economic life of the country. It ended in 2009. Okay. Pehle to jo jaan lo civil war hota kya hai? Civil war is violent conflict between opposing groups within a country. that becomes a intense war intense it like appears a war now accommodation in belgium hum wapas belgium par aate hain belgium leaders ne kuch alag baat liya un logon ne fight karne ka nahi design kiya उन लोगों ने रिकॉग्नाइज किया कि एक्जिस्टेंस ऑफ रीजनल एंड कल्चरल डिफरेंस फिर बिटवीन 1970 और 1993 में उन्होंने चार कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एमेंडमेंट्स किए कितने चार टू फैसिलिटेट द पीसफुल लिविंग फॉर ऑल द कंट्री ओके एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बेल्जियम मॉडल अच्छा नंबर ऑफ डच स्पीकर एंड फ्रेंच स्पीकिंग कम्युनिटी शुड बी इक्वल इन सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट Some special laws require the support of majority members of each linguistic group. Therefore, no single community can make an unilateral decisions. Brussels has a separate government in which both the communities have equal representation, and the state governments are not subordinate to central government. Elements of Belgium model. Apart from the central and state government. they also formed a community government elected by people belonging to one language like dutch french and german speaking no matter what they speak where they live this government has the power regarding educational cultural and language related issues 
Belgium model is very complex but accommodating. It has helped to avoid civic strife between the major communities and a possible division of country and on linguistic lines. Therefore, for the same reasons, Brussels was chosen as the headquarter of European Union. Okay. European Union ka headquarter to kya hai? Brussels. What did we learn today? From Belgium and Sri Lanka. From Belgium. In Belgium, the leaders have realized that the unity of the country is not possible only by respecting the feelings and interests of different communities and religion regions. Okay. Such a realization resulted in mutually acceptable arrangements for sharing power. From Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka shows us a contrasting example. It shows us that if a majority community wants to force its dominance over others and refuses to share the power, it can undermine the unity of the country. Why is power sharing desirable? Anyone know? There are two different reasons. First is prudential reason. Power sharing will bring out better outcomes. It helps to reduce possibility of conflict between social groups. It is a good way to ensure the stability of political order. Tyranny of the majority is not just oppressive for the minority. Second reason is the moral reason. It is a second deeper reason why power sharing is good for democracies. In democracy, power sharing is a very spirit. People have right to be consulted on the on how they are going to be governed or being governed. Okay. While prudential reason stress that power sharing will bring out better outcomes, moral reasons emphasize the very act of power sharing is valuable. Yeah. So I hope everyone is clear. So do subscribe our channel for the latest updates. Okay. Do not forget to like our video. If any doubt, do write it in the comment section. It will be solved as soon as possible. Okay. Bye. See you soon. Subscribe to Study Studio to be updated.